Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris here with Colonial Airstream with another service how-to. Today we're gonna go over how to jack up your trailer and change your tire. So changing your tire on an Airstream trailer might seem scary, but we're gonna show you the proper steps to jack your trailer up, change the tire yourself. That way you're not stranded on the side of the road waiting for roadside assistance. You can quickly get on your way. Let's start with the tools. So first we're gonna go over the tools we need to jack up our trailer. We have our hydraulic jack. Um, you guys may have a bottle jack, something slightly different to this, as long as it can handle the weight of the trailer. Um, that's gonna be perfectly fine to use. If you use a bottle jack, it's good to have a small block of wood just to spread the weight out. You don't want to put that small bottle jack right on the plate, it can kind of bend the frame up. We also have our breaker bar. This is probably what most people are gonna have. 13 16 socket, just to break the lug nuts loose on the tires. If you're not hooked up to your truck when you're doing a tire change, make sure you chalk all your tires. This way your trailer doesn't roll away on you while you're removing it. When you're finishing up, it's good to have a torque wrench. This is to make sure you get each lug nut at the right torque. That way they're as tight as they should be, not over tightened, not under tightened. If you have an impact drill, this is just gonna speed up the process, make it a lot easier for you. So let's take a look at step one. So our first step is getting the jack under the trailer and putting it in the right position so we're not jacking it in the wrong spot. If you look underneath the trailer, there's a sticker right here that says jack. It has an arrow pointing forward. Now we don't wanna put the jack on this sticker. You'll put your jack right through the floor. You wanna come right to this metal plate right here. You'll actually see there's rivets. There's a little uh, frame line right here. So we're gonna take our jack, start to bring it up so that we're sitting right on that plate. And then we'll bring it up until the tires come off the ground. So before you jack your trailer off the ground, just remember you wanna loosen your lug nuts up. That way your tire doesn't spin when you try to loosen each one. So we'll come to the lug nut here. Don't forget, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And now you actually want to do a little bit of a pattern here. I kind of do a star pattern. So I start here, almost like a triangle. One, one, one. Then I do one, 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 that way you're not going to warp the wheel when you take it off. Now that you're ready to take your tire off, we'll come up front and grab our spare. If you look right in the front here, move this wire, you'll see there's a little cotter pin and a pin coming through here. We wanna pull this cotter pin out and hold the weight of this bar up because the tire is gonna to wanna to drop down as soon as you get this pin out. It's a little tricky in here. Take this lever, let that come down, and then slowly let the tire drop down underneath the trailer. And then we can grab it. All right, so now we're ready to change our tire. We're gonna come over here, pop our lug nuts off. And you can actually check your tire pressure on your spare before you mount it. Just make sure it's at the right pressure. And don't forget the center cap. You actually want to put this into the spare. That way you're not having to take your tire off again just to put that on. So a trick to getting these tires on, they're a little heavy. If you actually rest them on your toes and you use the toe, your toes to kind of prop this up, it just helps it easier to get onto the lugs. And we'll get our lug nuts on and we'll torque it down. All right, so before we drop the trailer down on its weight, we just wanna make sure we snug each lug nut before we lower the jack. And then we'll come back here we're gonna drop our jack down, let it come down nice and slow. You don't wanna just rush this process and have the trailer come to a complete drop. Once that's down, we can come over here, torque our lug nuts. 
So the torque wrench is basically just a tool that you can set it at the right torque. Uh, manufacturers will give you a spec. Airstream's 110. There's older styles that are click style. This is electric, so it just makes a buzzing noise. When you get to the right torque spec, it's gonna let you know. So you wanna make sure like we loosen them, you're gonna do a pattern to tighten them. I like the triangle one, so I'm gonna start here. One, two, three, one, two, three. That way you don't warp your wheel, tightening it on. So come up here, click, that's one. Another click, that's two. Three. Now, once you have them tightened, you'd be able to take off and go on your trip. Hey guys, like and subscribe below if you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, comment below or visit us at colonialairstream.com. My name's Chris and I'll see you in our next video.